Hey chess fans, back again doing Puzzle Rush Survival Mode. You essentially get to do puzzles until you get three wrong. It's pretty fun. So let's go ahead and get started. And for some of the more advanced players, you might want to skip ahead further in the video so you get to puzzles that are maybe a little bit stronger and might entertain you a little bit more. But for players that are newer to the game, you might enjoy these early puzzles and just talking through what's going on. So hope you'll come with me on this journey. Enjoy the, enjoy the puzzle solving and uh, glad you decided to stop by today. All right. <laughs> so there we go, it starts the puzzle rush. And you'll notice the back rank has a problem. There's one rook defending it. We have our rooks doubled and one is ready to go forward to announce checkmate. So we'll go here. And then what's gonna happen is as soon as I make this move, the next puzzle is gonna load. So I'll just let you know that it is gonna be checkmate because of these pawns in front of the king. So the king will have nowhere to move and the rook will be attacking the king. And like I said, as soon as I let go, next puzzle. So, okay. And we're looking at the king's square. So the queen's blocking this one. Our king controls this one. Um, that's not our pawn, sorry, this pawn. <laughs> that's the white's pawn. Our pawn controls this square, our bishop controls this square, and our rook is able to go over to attack the king and pr protect this pawn for checkmate. So just slide over there, mate. And then again, the back rank problem, so the rook will go up. Again, the pawns are in place, so the rook is just gonna eliminate the king. In this case, we have rook takes rook, the queen will be able to block, and then we'll have mate. And then over here, we have, what do we have here? Got a pinned bishop, but it looks like the fun thing to do would be to take this rook, and the king would have to go here, and then we'd want to find like the fastest way to mate from there, which um, I'm laughing because my cat <laughs> is making a lot of noise. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the cat crying in the background, but, um, but anyway, I think we'd want to take this rook, and that might be the end of the puzzle because it is so early on. Um, let's go ahead and make that move. Yeah, just wanted to see if we saw the rook hanging. This one's going to be a checkmate, bishop supporting the queen, attacking h7. And then the other pieces that black has there, they're controlling the other squares that we'd want to have controlled. So the queen will be on this square attacking the king, controlling that square, and that will end the king uh, end the game, right? So next game, and we look for what's happening here. We got some light square weaknesses. This knight is controlling these two squares, and we're ready to put our queen out here. The queen will attack the king. Only move for black is to put the bishop in the way. We'll take the bishop and again, checkmate. So check, and yeah. Uh, this one we're going to play queen takes check, the king will be moved into the corner, we'll go forward with check, the rook will capture, our rook will recapture for mate. So, and then here, so we got some dark square control, and we're playing white side, so let's see, looks like maybe this check would be good, so we check the king, only the bishop can go in the way, and then we take the bishop, and over here, Got the bishop back here. It's easy to miss the bishop, but the bishop is protecting the queen, so we're able to go here, and that will be checkmate. The, uh, these pieces are keeping the king in over here, and the queen from the square will control these other two and the king square. So that'll be mate. All right, black to move here. The bishop supporting the knight, and the knight and this pawn are what we're looking at. The queen can control all of the other squares from here. The knight will protect the queen, so the knight guards the queen to the square. She comes over attacks the king, and she has all of these squares, and then these last two squares, the knight and the pawn, are taking away the king's squares, and the king can't take the knight because this bishop is guarding it. So just queen here, and next puzzle. And this is another back rank, rank mate, so we check, the king slides over, we check again, the rook takes, our rook recaptures, and that'll be checkmate because the knight controls this square, not this square. So check, check, and mate. All right, white to move here queen down, and it's going to control all of these squares, which along with where the pawns are at, is going to make the king be in checkmate. Black to move here. What is the move here? Maybe we're just going to trade, well actually, this is interesting, right? Oh, probably want to take here. It's kind of a mean one. Uh, this pawn capture might not look like much to you. If you look at it at first, you might say, well, can't the king just take back? And yeah, the king can. The unfortunate thing for the king is that when he takes back, this rook is going to capture this rook for free. And the reason that'll happen is the king can't step here because the rook controls it. So the, the king can't stay with the rook. Uh, the bishop's blocking the other square to stay with the rook. So we're basically deflecting the king away from protecting a piece. So it's uh, a lot of these puzzles will have this type of thing where you have something defending a piece and then you're trying to remove the defender. So we're moving the king as a defender by putting him in check. And the king has to take and they're able to freely take the rook, so. 
All right, and then this is a back rank again. You might even start to recognize some of these from what we've already seen. King's gonna step over, queen will go up, rook will capture, our rook will capture again, checkmate. And we've seen that one a few times. They definitely want you to recognize that pattern. This is a super fun one. So you have all of these pieces around the king and you have a knight. And that kind of gives us some indication that this might be looking at like a smothered mate, which is a really fun way to win a chess game. Uh, the queen is acting on this pawn behind the knight. So when the knight moves anywhere, the queen will be pinning this pawn to the king. And what that means is that pawn is unable to capture. And uh, some beginning players will see this and get super excited and play the knight to f6 with check. And then black will respond with either pawn captures or knight captures. And they're like, ah, oh. you know, they're, they're all bummed out, right? Because the a piece is able to take that knight off the board. But if you go over to this side with check, uh, there's no piece that controls the d6 square except for the pawn that we're pinning to the king. So knight to d6 is gonna be checkmate. So as soon as I put the knight on that square, we're gonna to go to the next puzzle because it'll be made. So put that on there. And this is another fun one. So the rook is taking away the king's flight square. So the king wants to move away from our check when we come in here. But when the queen checks, the king does not have that square available. So that'll be made. And over here, let's see. Looks like we've got another good thing happening here. Uh, sorry, the king controls this, the pawn controls these two. So again, all the squares in front of the king, just like when there were the white pawns in front of the king, very similar idea, rook goes up with mate. The knight can move here, but cannot move there to block the check. So next puzzle. Oh, let's see. I think we're gonna come over here and it's a little bit slower puzzle than some of the other ones. We don't start with check. Our next move is gonna be rook takes pawn check and notice the king can't move anywhere. The rook is gonna be attacking the king. He wants to go over here, but our queen controls that square, so the king cannot go there. So rook over, no matter what white does, there's a lot of moves here, but no matter what move that white makes, these are like the moves that white can make here. We'll make a lot of them. So white has all of these moves available, right? And they could also go here, and they could also sack the rook and go there. But no matter what move white makes, including this one, our, our rook that has gone here will either take the pawn on this square or take it on that square if it moves forward. And that'll be a path to mate. And I guess the bishop can also move, right? So there's other moves here. The king cannot move because the pawn and the queen are restricting the king's movement. But if you look at all of those moves, none of them matter because uh, our next move is gonna be rook takes pawn. So we'll go over here, rook attacks the queen. Um, does that matter? So I was, all, I was all excited to play this and then queen mates, but this is the one that would stop that particular pattern. I'm still tempted to sack though. Just trying to figure out how it would go on from there if I do do the sack. What else could I do? Rook takes. I mean, this is the one where they would still control this square. So my original idea was rook takes pawn, pawn takes, queen moves over for checkmate. But now if the pawn recaptures, oh, <laughs> I think I, oh, this is so mean. So let me walk you through this. It is still the same move. It's rook takes pawn, white pawn captures back. And then we make this move that looks like it doesn't work. You play pawn forward check, the white king goes forward. And then our next move is the exciting one. The next move is the move that really puts the puzzle into full uh, vision, I guess, of what's happening. We play the pawn forward and simultaneously, these queens are guarding each other both rooks, this rook is attacking this queen, this rook is attacking this queen, but because the queens are now both putting the king in check, the king has to move, so the king goes here, and then this queen or this queen can go to this square to checkmate. So let's look at how this goes. Rook takes check, pawn moves up check, and now the really wild looking move, pawn promotes, and when that pawn promotes to a queen, both queens simultaneously attacking the king make him have to move to his only legal square, and then either queen could mate. So we'll go there, and then you see how it didn't make us keep going, because either way was uh, was mate. Um, another kind of fun one, so rook takes pawn, king goes to the corner, rook takes pawn, king goes back to where he currently is, and the other rook comes in, so essentially both these rooks replace both of these pawns, and suddenly the king finds himself where he can't go here because the rooks control that, and again, his own piece, his own, his very own rook, is actually the reason that he's getting checkmated. And this type of stuff, like the smothered mate and this, it, uh, it really speaks to the idea in chess of how it, the um, the activity of your pieces, who has the attack, it really matters a lot. Like you can look at the position and you can right away see that Black's pieces are much more passive. You might say passive, what do I mean by that? Well, the bishop is able to have some influence on the board and if we drew a dividing line like right here, the bishop controls these squares 
that go beyond that dividing line, right? Just those two, uh, three squares that go beyond the dividing line. In fact, those are the only squares beyond the dividing line that black controls. Now, if you contrast that with what white controls, let's get a different color going here. Maybe the shift key, um, alt, yeah, alt, I guess alt's blue, alt blue will work. Maybe you guys, can, or maybe just red if I just do it by itself. Let's do that one. So we'll draw a line again with red, and this will be the white side of the board. And we'll look at all the white pieces that go across that line. So got these guys, this, the rook, all of these squares are beyond that line. I guess I could highlight them like this too to make it brighter, but we just have lots of control. I guess I won't count the square the pieces on, but rather the squares the pieces control beyond that line. But look at all those. Like there's, and the queen technically is just getting these two. But you, but you see what I'm saying? Like the, the white pieces are right up there in the black position, whereas our king doesn't have that same kind of pressure, right? So we take, and it sees that we're gonna get mate and drops out of there. Okay, same mate we saw earlier. It was a rook last time that was here, but again, the king's flight square is controlled by a bishop. We're just gonna fly in there for checkmate. Queen will attack these squares, uh, leaving the king without a, a square to go to. And then in this one, well, there's a hanging knight is the first thing I see. Um, but there's also, so that's, this is kind of a tricky puzzle, right? So you look at this and you go, oh, isn't there a free knight? That's gotta be the puzzle. And so uh, maybe as a beginning player, you just make that capture, but then white plays queen takes pawn and suddenly you're checkmated. So you take the free knight and you're mated, but we can fix the problem here by taking the queen first. So we take the queen, they recapture, and then we take the free knight. Uh, as we do this little pattern, we should also look for one more thing before queen takes queen. We'd be looking for this knight to have a move where it would put our king in check. Because if the knight could move, like say, say if our king was on this square instead, it would be like knight takes knight takes bishop check. So like we would take the queen, they would take here with check. We'd have to respond to the check first by taking the knight back or moving our king, and then after that, um, we could we could then. Uh, you know, they, or sorry, then after we respond to them, they could then recapture, right? So it'd be like queen takes, knight takes check, we take, bishop takes back. So you really have to watch for those intermediate moves, the checks and such that throw things off. But, uh, the, and the more humorous thing about this is, white actually did this with a purpose. The knight, the knight might've been here or here, let's say, and the knight is actually moving there to deflect the knight because this knight is currently guarding this pawn. So with the knight guarding that pawn, it's actually stopping checkmate. And that's the reason why both this piece being here and this being here kind of makes sense, like how, how they could both be there at the same time. It could also have been that the queen was here and the knight moved up to attack the queen. That might make a lot of sense. Knight moved up to attack the queen. She moved to the center to threaten mate, knowing that if they take the knight, there would be a checkmate. But again, we take the queen first and then we take the knight. Good to go. All right, over here, what are we doing? Uh, I feel like we want to do something like this. Check, push the king over. But... It might be better. I think it's just this. When I started seeing that the king wasn't going to get mated, like the king might start walking like this, when I started seeing those lines, I said, you know what? There's probably something better. Absolutely there is. Um, again, just like when those white pawns were here, here, and here, the white pawns we saw earlier that made it so we could go to the back rank for mate, this is very similar. The rook now is creating those pawns. Like it, it's basically creating the control of the squares behind the king. And that means that when our queen moves over supported by our king, it's just checkmate immediately. The queen has these squares and the rook has these squares in the back, right? So queen goes there for mate. And then this should be a fun one. I think it's gonna be like queen here for check. And then there's a couple different ways I could see this one playing. Um, but I think the easiest is gonna be knight takes and then queen, so like queen checks, pawn goes up. Knight takes, maybe. Queen can go to f7 though. If the knight takes, queen could go to f7. I guess the knight could go back here then. That doesn't work because this knight would capture it. We might need to set this one up a bit first. We might need to capture here first. But then our knight can't move. Hmm. I want to think about this one for a minute. This is a 12. What is this puzzle? Actually, I don't know what the rating is. The last puzzle we saw was 1266, shown right here. But I actually don't know the strength of this puzzle. Hmm, what to do we do? I was initially thinking like, if the queen wasn't where she's at, I would play check, pawn goes up, knight takes. And then when the queen isn't here, they're basically in a situation where if they take, we take the rook. But what are we to do if they um, play the queen here? That is my question. Because the queen going there would pin the knight to our queen and then, and then this capture would be looming. Mm-hmm. Take this first, our knight's pinned. 
didn't seem good either. <laughs> I guess I could try the same line. Knight, pawn, knight, queen, knight, something like that maybe? And then, yeah, I think it's something like that because when we take, yeah, that'll keep things kind of like under fire. If they take here with the queen, then we have knight takes check to get this. This is pretty exciting. Let's go for it. So we'll go here. We'll t <laughs> and it's funny, I go through all these lines assuming that they're going to play the queen move for the pin and they just give us the rook. So they, they actually do like the natural pattern that I wasn't expecting. All right. So in this one, we got the bishop backing up the queen. So she's ready to go forward to here. We're not going to go here where the queen controls the square. We go all the way in and then the king will be checkmated. Very similar to what we've seen in other positions, but now instead of a rook or bishop, it's actually this pawn that stops the king from going. So queen goes in, supported by the bishop, checkmate. Next one. Uh, let's see. What the would I like to do? Oh, this is a fun one. So we're going to take the bishop. The rook's going to recapture. And we want to be able to take this rook with the king no longer defending it. And the way we make that happen is with the knight. So we're going to play rook takes bishop, rook takes. Knight checks. The bishop will no longer be there, the rook will. The king will go to the corner, and then this rook will come in for checkmate. So capture, check, and then mate. All right. And then this is a nice one too. Just rook takes rook, king has to take, and then this rook comes up for mate, supported by the bishop. So pull the king into the mate, basically. Um, this looks like a lot of fun. Queen checks, king goes over. There's a really fun smothered mate that we saw on the prior stream. They may allow that, they may not. So if they do allow it, the knight would come in for check, the king would go back to where it's at. The knight would go here with double check, so both the queen and the knight are attacking the king. The king would go back in the corner. Then the queen would swing in and sacrifice itself. The rook would take the queen, and this knight that's over here would re uh, sorry, this knight that's over here would go here for checkmate. So we'll see if we can do the smothered mate. And they didn't Oh, that's so funny. I I know what the mistake was there that I just made. Um, if we go back to that puzzle, I played the check for this fun line that I knew, but all I had to do was just play queen straight up, check and it's mate because the h2 pawn is only supported uh, by the king. So that was that was the easy one. Okay, this is kind of a fun one. So it looks like the knight is guarding this rook, but the knight's not actually guarding the rook because we've got our rook pinning the knight. So the knight's not an active defender. It looks like an active defender, but it's not. It's just queen takes rook, checkmate. All right, and it's unfortunate I missed the 1500 puzzle. It's probably gonna make us be a little bit lower in terms of the number of puzzles we solve. But I think it's instructive because you see me make a mistake and you kind of go, Oh yeah, take an extra minute. It was similar to when we saw the knight hanging earlier. There's a, a nice move that's available that's very strong, and that, that move that I made would win an exchange, um, but the other way would actually just win the game immediately, so it was better. All right, white to move here. Let's see. It looks like we're gonna go check here, and this is kind of a fun one too. So the rook is controlling these squares. When the knight checks the king, the king only has these two squares available, and if the king goes here, trying to keep the rook from going forward, our knight that has arrived here, the knight actually controls both of these squares. So when the king goes up, we're able to move the rook forward, supported by the knight for checkmate. All right, so we're in check with the discovery. And I'm just kind of peeking around to see. Oh, it's not a discovery, rather. It's just the knight putting us in check. I think I can just step the king over. I was considering queen takes if we had like a checkmate hanging behind this, but I don't see that. I was just gonna play the king here. My first thought, I can't, you know, I can't move to any of these squares because the queen controls them. The knight controls this square, so I can either move up or over the two, le two legal moves that I have. And if I move up, then I believe queen moving over would be checkmate, so that seems pretty bad. So I'm just going to move here. Um, and again, my queen would capture if I had mate, but yeah, they just wanted to see if I could see that we didn't threaten enough to just do, uh, go for it, let's say, there. All right, what are we doing here? This check, rook maybe blocks, bishop checks, possible anyway. Maybe queen checks, queen could check, bishop could block. Hmm. What are we doing? Yeah, and I guess the queen could also recapture it. Maybe that's not right at all. Look. I guess. The fact that their bishop's hanging is maybe the problem, right? So we could play rook up, rook blocks, rook takes rook, somebody captures. No matter, oh, but the bishop, if the queen retakes, then how do we make this, and our, our queen is guarding this, okay, I see. Yeah, okay, this does work really well. So rook checks, rook takes, 
There's only one attacker on this. We have a defender already, so now I can just freely take the bishop. I couldn't take the bishop earlier because the queen and the rook were attacking our bishop. So with both of them attacking the bishop, I just I couldn't just capture this bishop because they take our bishop. But now we can just take the bishop. All right. Let's see. Oh, and this is the thing I was trying to do earlier with like knight takes pawn. I think we actually did this earlier. We just did it as the white side instead of black, but take. And then they want to see if I can find this move, I guess, to have another check. Right now our queen is threatened, so if I just move the knight to take the rook, their knight takes our queen, which is not good. So play check here, and I believe that's uh, not quite mate. We'll check there, the king will step up, and then we'll take the rook with check is probably what we're doing. Yeah. All right, we threaten this, but yeah, inter interestingly enough, that is the way. Queen takes rook, king takes, rook takes check, king goes up, and then the other rook can come in for checkmate. Um, did I say that right? No, not quite yet. So it's going to be queen takes, king takes, rook takes, king goes up. Or, yeah, let's look at that again. Queen takes, king, rook checks, king goes over, king slides over, that's what it is, that's what I'm missing. King slides over, then rook checks, king goes up, and then this rook mate. So we saw this earlier when they were like, two rooks here and two pawns here, so we saw like one rook capture and then the other rook capture and this rook was here making it mate. This is very similar to that, only now it's these pawns that are kind of creating the problem for the black king. So capture, check, check, and then the next move would have been mate, but it didn't allow us to do it because it knew that we'd solved or figured it out. This is checkmate. Just uh, The pawn moves can be really hard, especially for starting players. I feel like this type of puzzle, they can look for a long time and they'll be looking at moves like this or, you know, rook captures here, but they don't necessarily see that the pawn can move two squares, attack the king, and that's game over. So this rook has these squares, this rook has these squares. So when the pawn arrives there attacking the king, the final square is uh, removed. So checkmate. All right. And then this bishop is pinning our rook to our king. Or pin, no, sorry. Yeah, it's pinning, it's not pinning a rook to a king because this is, this is the bishop of this. It's kind of interesting. It's white to move. Everybody can move. <laughs> There's no no pin here. And this looks like a fun one again. So we have rook here. So the, like, look at the squares around the king. These two squares are controlled by the rook. The pawn is guarding our rook, so this square is also protected. This pawn is protecting this square. This pawn is protecting this square. The rook is protecting this square. <clears throat> and this pawn's protecting this pawn. This pawn's protecting this square. So you look at the single square that's there and then you kind of ask, well, which piece that's on the board for white can attack the final square to meet the king? And it's this knight, knight there, checkmate. Um, notice it's not getting in the way of the rook. And then someone else might try this move, like, isn't this checkmate? No, the pawn could take it, the queen could take it, so it's down here, and we go to the next puzzle. All right, I believe this is gonna be a sacrificial mate, so it'll be like, check, king takes, check is what I was thinking, but, Maybe that doesn't work. If the king, if the king, eh, it doesn't work. We're missing, missing the supports. So maybe this is better. I was just trying to make a sack work from like other puzzles I've done, but those puzzles have the pawn here. Like if our white pawn was here instead, if this, like if this was our pawn, the idea I had would work. So we'd, we'd check, the king would take, we'd check again. Uh, the king would move to either square, we wouldn't care. Our queen would come up with checks supported by our pawn, assuming we controlled this square, which we don't, but if we had control of that square, so the king couldn't run away, then we would have checkmate, but anyway, we're gonna play the queen here instead to build a battery, and then the rook could move away, but the rook moving away allows either of these squares to be mate still. The pawn could move up to try to give the king a square, but the queen can actually check here, and that'll be checkmate. So, um, black will have some serious problems after this move. Some ideas for black, sack the knight for check would be one idea, sack the queen for check, you know, just to make us not be able to mate them, but... Yeah, and then in this case, they move the queen in the way. They say, well, the queen can block where your queen wants to go, but ultimately we're going to arrive on that square and get checkmate. White to move. Um, I would think this would be good if not for the queen capturing it. Um, there's also this idea, so we could check. The king would step forward. We could check here, supported by the knight. The king goes forward again. And then... That doesn't look to work either. What else is there? Check, king there. We could also play knight takes rook, I guess, but not... I feel like we're so close to mate, I kind of hate the idea of, like, trading right now. Because I want to go in and get, um... Oh, right there's mate. I missed it. I missed it the first time through. It's check, king goes up, check supported by the knight. Wait a minute. Check, king goes up. 
Shack support by the night. King goes there. I was trying to make this be mate. Oh, it is. It is mate. That's what I was missing. We. It's the same squares we've seen controlled in the past. Um, when the king is on this square and our queen goes to this square, the queen from here will attack the king, control all of these squares, and that'll be checkmate. So that's our that's our mating square, and the king is going to be here. So their king is here, our queen is here, checkmate. So here, here, and then here. <clears throat> Just for some reason, I wasn't looking at that square being controlled. Um, bit of fun here, I imagine. So we got. Yeah, queen takes pawn is what I'm kind of feeling right now. Queen takes, but might not be enough. Bishop takes seems wrong. Definitely queen takes, rook takes, rook takes. It's kind of where I want to go with this. Let's look at that. So queen takes, rook takes, rook takes. You can play bishop up to have a back rank controlled. That doesn't seem right. What are we doing here? Bishop Rook, Bishop King, hmm. Put Bishop down here and attack their queen. Interesting. That doesn't seem right though. Queen Rook, it's not gonna be Bishop takes, that doesn't seem right. Queen Rook, Rook, Bishop, Rook takes. Maybe that, wor maybe that works, that's kind of crazy. This looks exciting. So Rook takes, or Queen takes, Rook takes. Rook takes, somebody moves, like lots of, and there's, again, tons of moves possible, like lots and lots of moves white can make, but I think no matter what they do, we're going to take here next. It's weird though, because they can play the queen up though, they can play the queen up, but then, then they can play rook checks here and take the queen, but I don't know if we have enough material. This is interesting. Queen takes, rook takes, rook takes. I like this capture, but I do see the queen can guard. The knight can also go back and guard, that's kind of even more scary. Where are we getting our mate? Rook takes, bishop checks, bishop checks. Hmm. I'm gonna go for it with the queen. Ah, I just hate doing it being wrong though. Yeah, I was wrong. I was trying to make that work, but it didn't. So we got two wrong, so I only get to miss one more and then this is over. Let's, uh, let's consider what I wanna do this time. Rook, bishop, hmm. Check there. Knight. Oh, this is this is a fair. This one's fair. It's weird. Like the last one, I feel like was almost harder. At least I didn't see it. Knight takes bishop. Pawn takes. Rook takes rook. And we got the queen and the rook attacking. So this queen wants to recapture because otherwise they're moving the king and they lost material. But when the queen recaptures, then this rook is hanging. So the idea is actually to get this rook as the target of this puzzle. So this rook dies, and that's how we end up getting material. So capture, capture, capture. All right. I think we'll go here. The bishop is pinned. We're threatening mate. I don't see a way to protect that. And then, why not here? Why not there? It's like why here versus here, right? Hmm. Feeling like I want to go here. I don't know what would change. Usually there's a reason why one's better than the other, so I'm pausing here. It's like, maybe maybe it accepts both, but I want to go here. Alright. Black to move again. Let's see. I could just play the rook over and try to eliminate this pawn. But I feel like they want us to checkmate the king. Maybe knight here. And then they're going to check us. We have to get out of checks with like king up. But we can play the knight here. And then that threatens to bring our rook over for mate. And it doesn't matter if they push the pawn or not, because our knight, our knight controls this square, and our pawns control this square, and this pawn's fixed by our knight. So yeah, that looks right to me. Go here, and then they didn't have a step out of the checks, but... Alright, black to move here. What to do? Check here first. We could check and push, maybe? would be one idea. If I check and then I push the pawn, they can't take because this rook would be hanging. And if they block, then we take that rook. Um, there's also just the idea of pushing the pawn. But I kind of like this check first and then pawn push. Um, let's try it. Aw. Alright, so look at the three that I missed there. This one I said I knew right away. It was I'd um, If we hit play on this, 
I had said just queen takes pawn was better, so take, take the checkmate, so that one was relatively simple. This one I was pretty stumped on. I was trying to figure out like what um what the idea was here. I didn't find it. I'm still not sure, so I guess I'll just hit a uh, show solution. Ah, that's cool. Okay, so what I did, what I hadn't considered is taking with the bishop when the king goes to the quarter, sacking this bishop because when the king takes, we have checkmate here. So neat puzzle. I just didn't consider the idea of the bishop sacrifice, and that's why I didn't see that one. I don't mind that one as much as probably these other two. This one, I tried doing the queen move, must have been pawn move instead. And then, maybe now do the check? The question is why? Oh, then I can just take the rook and, and queen, I see, okay. It makes sense now, I just didn't, I would have found it that way, I wouldn't have seen it, I don't think, either, either with that one, but. Overall, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I think it's good for you guys to see me miss some of these puzzles and get an idea of things that I might miss and then that's part of why you're doing these puzzles is you're really looking to see what are your tendencies, what are the things you're not seeing currently and then through the puzzles you're gaining the knowledge of like new patterns and new solutions to problems that um, you should be able to solve, right? So I definitely encourage you to go slow with the puzzles. I did go fast with some of these, so I try to go a bit slow. And then when you find that first move, like we saw in the one position I had like queen checks, I saw that and I wanted to bring the knight in and was talking about the smothered mate and all these other ideas. But as we saw in that puzzle, it was just really simple. Just queen takes pawn supported by knight checkmate. So when you find the first thing you want to do in a puzzle, you might just want to pause for a second. And if the first move you're making isn't checkmate, just go back and say, hey, can I checkmate in one move? Let me look for that. Can, is there another mating idea before you just move on? But again, I hope you enjoyed the content. I look forward to seeing you soon.